Gunfire rings out tonight near a funeral home in Hegwish. Police say a man was shot just after 5 o'clock near Houston and 132nd Street. The victim was hit in the arm in good condition. The car used in the shooting tied to a carjacking earlier this week. The shooting, one of many today, on top of an already violent week. And it's this kind of bloodshed that has some demanding the feds step in. Tia Ewing is live with their calls for change. Tia. Well, Corey and Don, it really comes down to the numbers here in the city of Chicago. So far this year, 169 people have been shot and killed. And local community activists are calling for the city of Chicago to do something about it and also the Biden administration. How many people total do we have shot? We believe four. It was a violent 10 hours in the city of Chicago. During that time period, at least six people were shot. The first crime scene unfolded at 4.30 Wednesday morning. A 16-year-old boy was shot in the head by a passing van in the 3900 block of West Jackson Boulevard. At 9.30 this morning, a woman was shot in the Target parking lot at the Brickyard Mall. A female white in her 50s, she's been shot at least twice, uh, once through the mouth. She later died from her injuries. Then there was this mass shooting in Garfield Park that left four people wounded, including a 17-year-old in critical condition. It's every day. You don't know who's shooting. You don't know who to run from. Historically, neighborhoods on the south and west sides of the city have been plagued by crime. But instead of addressing that, Chicago police joined forces with the Cook County Sheriff's Office to combat rising crime in downtown, opening a sheriff's post in River North. Criminals seeing more police diminishes their opportunity to commit crime. Now the question is, what about everyone else? Reverend Jesse Jackson, Father Michael Flager and others gathered on the south side. It's interesting to me that we're uh, opening something in River North, um, but <laughs> when the highest violence in the city is not in River North. Those local activists also calling for Mayor Lori Lightfoot to create a violence prevention plan way before the summer shows up here in the city of Chicago. They're also asking for the Biden administration to offer financial help. Live in downtown tonight, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 Chicago.